Good morning, doctor. Today our team are going to present the project for software requirement and design. Our system is called Emergency Call Mobile Application, and now I'm going to introduce my team. Our team consists of Ong Chao Hui, me, myself, Tan Wei Ming, and Teo Sunan. Without further ado, let's start our presentation. Now I'm going to present the static technique used for the system. The static technique that we use is informal review. The informal review is used for both functional and non-functional requirements. We carry out this technique on three reviewers, and the aim of using informal review is to get a bigger picture of the issues regarding the system before move on to formal review. The next target, of course, is to improve the quantity if we improve the quality of the system. This is the use case diagram of our emergency call mobile application. The mobile customer or patient will be having the view nearby hospital use case. The view nearby hospital includes the locate self use case, which the application will get the location of mobile customer actor. The locate self use case is linked to the GPS satellite service. Next, the mobile customer is linked to the register use case and is extended by the login use case. The login use case is linked to the authentication. The register use case also linked directly to the authentication. The register use case also includes the registered email use case then linked to the authentication. The register use case also includes the secure data diagram which link to the database administrator as the registered data will be stored in the user database. The mobile customer actor link to the main emergency call use case, which includes the searching available medical center use case. The application will search from the database by linking to the database administrator. The main emergency call use case also include the report availability use case, which will be stored under the medical center. Next, let's look at the ERD, which is also known as the entity relationship diagram. Let's look at the custom entity. The custom entity consists of ID number as the primary key, and other attributes such as name, mobile number, email, ID type, nationality, date of birth gender, and address. Zero or one customer will have one and only one emergency call. The emergency call entity consists of emergency ID as the primary key, ID number of customer entity as foreign key, customer location and symptom description attributes. One and only one of emergency call will have one or many distance from customer. Distance from customer entity, take distant ID as primary key. Emergency ID from emergency call entity and available ID from available medical center entity as foreign key and distant attribute. Zero or many of distant from customer, we have zero or one of available medical center. The available medical center entity consists of available ID as primary key and medical center ID from medical center list entity as foreign key. Zero or many available medical center we have zero or one relationship with medical center list entity. The medical center list entity consists of medical center ID as primary key. The attributes are name, address, availability, and operation day. After getting feedback from the three reviewers, we conclude the defects of the system. The first defect is that once a user forgets a password, they cannot log in the system. The second defect is the system didn't warn the user if the user didn't complete all information during registration. Next defect is the system didn't notify the user if the user forgot to switch on GPS when using the application. The system also didn't allow users to choose the pickup location, like the place for the ambulance to arrive at. The system user's database didn't provide maintenance time or rotation, which means like, after how long, only carry out the maintenance activity. The system also didn't keep updating the medical center list information, 
which will cause trouble to the users if the medical center is available and got selected, but not available instead. The system response time also should be within one second. Next is the defects of the ERD. Reviewers feedback that the relationship between the entity medical center list and entity available medical center is inappropriate. Besides that, no report is created after the emergency call is made. Now, let's look at the solution for the defects. For the first defect, we create a forget pa password button at the login page and allow the user to change their password when they forget. Next, the system also will display notify message to the user if the user didn't fill up all the information during registration. Display notify message switch on GPS to the user if the user forgets to switch on GPS. The system should also provide a Google map for the user to locate the pickup location if the user didn't want to use the GPS location or didn't switch on GPS. For the database part, we should carry out user database maintenance activity every two months. Last but not least, we should keep the GUI lightweight to improve the system response time. Now, let's look at the solution for the defects of ERD. The relationship between entity medical center list and entity available medical center should be 0 or 1 and also 0 or 1. A report should be created at the medical center. This is an amended ERD, which we made changes of relationship between the medical center list entity and available medical center entity. Like for the medical center list is having a zero or one relationship to the available medical center. And then the available medical center also have zero or one relationship to the medical center list. We also create a report entity that's a one and only one relationship with the medical center list entity. That's all from me and I now will pass to the next presenter, which is Dio Sunan. Good morning, I'm Dio Sunan. I'm going to present the dynamic technique. The dynamic technique that we use is usability prototype. In dynamic technique, prototyping is used to validate the requirements of the software by showing prototypes to users and gathering feedback from them. We carry out this technique on three users. The target of this technique is to make improvements and refinements in requirement. Here is the defect of the system that we get from the feedback. Firstly, the system cannot function under no Wi-Fi condition. Secondly, the system didn't allow user to access hospital information without login. Lastly, the system cannot make call automatically when user click on the contact number in the detail page. Next, let's look at the solution for the defect. We can design an offline mode for user to access the hospital information in the system under no Wi-Fi condition. We can modify the system to allow user to access the hospital information without login. We also can modify the interface to allow user click to call and long press to copy the contact number of the hospital in the detail page. That's all from me. Now I will pass to next presenter, Ong Chao Hei. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Ong Chao Hui from 2BITS S121. I'm going to present the design quality. The first design quality is efficiency. Efficiency of a system is the ability of a system to run the successfully without wasting resource such as time and also to achieve the efficiency of the system. The development team can design a good database without redundant data and use the most efficient algorithm in coding. This will help the system to run as fast as possible to avoid wasting time. This increases the efficiency of the system. The next is usability. Usability is used to measure the performance and efficiency of the system. It also involves the entire technical functioning and the interface design of the system. So the designer and the developer need to do a full investigation regarding the requirement from different types of users before starting to develop the system. The investigation can develop a much more convenient system and also improve the utilization rate of the system. Based on the emergency call mobile application, new users can learn how to use the application quickly and also easily on future visits. This application also supports users in completing action accurately to get the help from the health center because the application will visibly display uh, display all the inquiries so the user can understand the content and choose what they want. And the next is availability. Availability of a software or system is the ability of software to inherit the new requirement and adapt to a keep on changing environment, thus continuing to provide the service to the users. To fulfill the availability of design quality, the system or software should be a component-based software or application. This component will be exchanging information or requests through connections. It is easy to change or update an individual component than changing the whole system. This decreases the overall cost to maintain the system. And the three main factors that cause change in a system are the domain, which is the system environment, experience, which is the user experience and requirements, and the process, which is the organization or implemented technology that affect the system. The emergency call mobile application is built based on the availability design quality as every function of the system is built in component based. Connect and send requests to other components through connection. It is easy to update and incorporate new requirements to the existing system without affecting other components of the system. And the next is anticipate change. So for the first is application for both online and offline. Emergency call mobile application currently does not support offline usage. This will be soon a concern or trouble for users as some users who don't acquire Wi-Fi or data will not be able to use the application function. The system will, the system will support backup download for medical central information list which will download automatically after a certain time. When user open the application without Wi-Fi connection or data, the system will allow the user to access the download medical central information list. After the user select the medical central, the application will bring the user to phone call with the selected medical central. Instead of sending information to selected medic medical center. And the next is filter features for medical central list. After the user click the emergency or near me button, a list of medical central will be displayed at the user screen. User could view or sort the medical central based on the criteria. A filter will be added for both emergency and near me button so that the user can view 
and sought the medical central list based on the criteria they are looking for. And the next is function make appointment online. Emergency call mobile application currently don't have the function for user to make the appointment online. It only allows the user to check the information of the medical central and also contact the nearest hospital to call the ambulance. So an appointment function should be added into the application to let the user make appointment to the medical central with zero contact. And the next is purity. The first is usability. Usability is placed at the first priority of design quality because it can measure the efficiency of the system and launch a user-friendly system. The function in the application can let the patient get help and get the medical central information quickly. Usability is also the level of ease with which the system can be applied to attain the set goal effectively and efficiently. For example, by adding the filter features for the medical central list can also improve the usability of application. This feature can help user to get accurate result. At the same time, it can also reduce the search time and let the user get the information faster. And the next is efficiency. Efficiency is placed at the second of the priorization of design quality as the use of system is associated with human life. The system is designed for users to retrieve nearby available hospital information as fast as possible. So the delay or lag in the system may affect the time for users to call ambulance or get the information important information from the system to save their life. Usability has priority over efficiency because the waste of time is poor usability system may be longer than in a low efficiency system. And the next is evaluability. Evaluability is placed in third for the prioritization of design quality because it requests a lot of feedback data and change in environment to make change to the system. The system has to run in the environment for a certain amount of time before it collects enough data for the development team to understand and determine the change. It is important to have the availability as the design quality of the system as it helps to create a system that is fast in update and adapting itself to the user requirements or changing the environment. For example, the system can attach itself to being both online and offline application as all the system is built in components so that it is easier for the developers to change the individual components without worry of affecting other components. That's all for our group. Thank you.